Hey everybody, welcome back to another review from Hocus-Pocus.com. My name's David and this is the Hocus Pocus deck. That's right, there's a Hocus Pocus deck. Hocus Pocus is celebrating 40 years in the Magic community uh, and they're really super excited to introduce their 40th anniversary playing cards. You know, 40 years ago, Paul Gross started Hocus Pocus Magic and he grew it from a small corner shop into one of the largest family owned and operated magic suppliers. Paul has equipped famous magicians and hobbyists alike with everything imaginable from stage props to coin shells, from head twisters to silk scarves, all while providing unparalleled customer service. Paul, along with his sons and family, continue to operate the business with the same enthusiasm and dedication to the customers that got them this far. And to honor the 40th year of their business, his sons, Max and Cole, sat down with renowned card designer Ida Huang to come up with a deck that would capture the heritage and feel of the company, as well as appeal to all areas of the card community. All right, so if you look at the front of the tuck case, you'll notice that it captures that vintage feel from 1976. You got that deep purple paired with sculpted gold. Harkens back to the days when stage magic utilized contrasting colors and flashy patterns to capture somebody's attention. You've got the rabbit ears and top hat logo that have been reimagined to give a more classic feel, while light and airy scroll work provides a pattern without drawing attention away from all that bold typography. And I know you can't feel it, but the tuck case is printed on a really soft touch stock with deep penetrating colors of velvet, and it has a really classy look. One side of the tuck case says Hocus Pocus, the other side says designed in Indonesia. The bottom has some ad copy about Hocus Pocus and Ido Huang, and the back design, of course, is the back design of the cards. The larger tongue flap has a simple spade pip, and then the two inside tuck flaps have the initials of the creators. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. The back design on these cards is very classically inspired. There's a lot going on here, tons of complex imagery. Uh, you got that mirrored rabbit ears and top hat. They're positioned in a classic style to provide your eye with a familiar layout. Um, the uh, designers wanted to keep the back design light and incorporate a lot of that thin line scrolling to fill the space between the dotted and broken lined frames. You're gonna have four pointed stars sprinkled out all through the design and you're gonna see them all over the place. So not only in the backs, but also in the card faces and the tuck and everything. And then of course you have that deep purple color, which I think is recognized everywhere as a, as a color of royalty, magic, mystery, and then you have that beautiful gold tone, which is really a, an awesome color to strike against the purple and give it some contrast, which I think gives a very majestic and very classic feel to these cards. With this deck, you're gonna get two extra gaff cards. You're gonna get a double backer and a blank face card, which are great for magic tricks. Also with this deck, you're gonna get two original jokers. Uh, it says joker very big, and then it has uh, like stars sprinkled around. Uh, there's a, that top hat and the magic wand. And then there's two card reveals, a five of hearts and a six of spades. And so you might have noticed it in the Joker, and I'll show you again here in the Ace of Spades, but you're gonna have those wavy lines that appear kind of like as a watermark, and you'll see that all throughout the faces of um, all the cards. So it doesn't matter if they're uh, indice cards or court cards, you'll see that little wavy uh, line effect going on back there, and it just kind of adds to just the mystery and the magic of this deck. I think it brings the whole deck up a notch and just kind of, just creates another element, another layer of customization that really makes this deck stand out. The Ace of Spades has some gold stars above the spade pip, which has a lot of ornamentation in it. And then underneath that, it says Hocus Pocus, creating miracles since 1976. For the most part, your pips and indices are completely uh, standard and they'll be instantly recognizable, which makes them great for gameplay, magic, and cardistry. Your court cards are also going to appear standard. However, I think there is some customization in there. It, it felt to me like the King of Spades, the Queen of Diamonds, the Jack of Spades, and there was one other king, I think it was the King of Clubs, that looked a little custom, like maybe they might be trying to be somebody else, but I think for the most part, it's going to fly right by a lay person. They're not going to know. Uh, and then the coloring is all this beautiful purple and gold from the back design. All right, so that's pretty much everything I can say about the new 40th anniversary edition of the Hocus Pocus playing cards. Of course, I want to just give props to Max and Cole for uh, putting together such a great deck. Ito did a wonderful job illustrating this. Who doesn't love Hocus Pocus? So, hey, if this deck strikes a chord with you, you want to pick it up, head on down to Hocus-Pocus.com and buy one or an entire brick for yourself. Thanks. Bye.